Uh, hello there friends, uh, sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, I've just been busy with school starting and all that. A couple of my friends uh, actually requested for me to do a game that we both play. They wanted me to play uh, Clash Royale. Uh, Clash Royale is, a, is an iPhone or Android game and most people, I would assume, that watch these videos are about my age, my sister's age, all that, probably played this game or have played this game before. So I'll be doing a couple of 2v2 battles, maybe a couple of 1v1s, um, maybe some deck strategies, all that stuff. So yeah, let's get th this party started. So you see, this is the main interface. Uh, if you've never played Clash Royale before, basically what it is, it's a card. It's kind of, if you've ever played something like Magic the Gathering, where you have a certain number of... I guess in that game it's mana, but in this game it's elixir to spend on these cards that you use to... I guess the... it's, it's kind of like a battle. It is a battle. That's why it's Clash. Battle. Um, it's kind of hard to explain actually without showing you. So here, I'll just show you a battle, okay? So this is a deck that I'm using right now, which I'll go way more into detail with later. If you've played this game before, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, First of all, A, you should get the game, because it's really fun to play when you, or just, you've got a couple of minutes to kill. Uh, so you see I've got this battle screen, this battle button, and this 2v2 button. So what I'm going to do is a 2v2, because if I lose, it doesn't affect me. <laughs> so we're going to start with the 2v2. Uh, if you have, you, there's like a friend list. Like if you have friends that have the game too, you can add them as friends, and if they're online... You can play with them, that's what this play with friend button is, and then a quick match is just, it randomly selects you with another person, and then you go up against more people. Uh, so this is just another arena, this is not the arena that I'm in, and arenas are based off of trophies, which you get from winning. Um, so you see my teammate is some crazy thing that I've never heard of. So the cards that I have, okay, so you see how I've got these four towers right here? Um, these are... Basically what it's basically what you have to keep alive. So you see that health thing up there um, With all these all the towers and such uh, That you have to basically with these cards is reduced to zero now some cards like this one here the big black one there That is what that is a P.E.K.K.A. which is a really very strong powerful card and I'm probably about to get murdered here <laughs> Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, so what it's going on right now is I'm what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our we're trying to reduce these to zero, and they're trying to reduce ours to zero. So we have to defend but also attack. So it's basically like a war game, like a not really a war simulator, but you get the idea. I hope. <laughs> okay, and boom! What I just used there, uh, what this thing, this giant cannon thing is that just did that weird twirl thing, I don't know what that was. That is a Sparky. That is a legendary card. You see how this card right here in the corner that I'm tapping is like a weird that I'm like moving around on the screen. Um, that is that is a legendary card, meaning that they're significantly rarer than all the other cards. So something like a Sparky is a legendary card because they're super hard to find. Um, so this right here, these two, this is an epic card, and this is a, um, common, that's the word, <laughs> didn't come up with that there for a second, um, so, what we have done, that I just realized we've done, is we have t taken one of the towers of our opponent, uh, by reducing its health to zero, which is a good thing in our favor, which means we will probably possibly win depending on what they do because it's th every match is three minutes long meaning you then have three minutes to take as many towers as possible if you take all of the towers the game ends and you win which is awesome <laughs> because some games if you really like just flat out destroy somebody it's just it's just fun to watch that reaction because you have these you see um oh crap I can't do that right now uh, anyway, so you see how there are these, like, good luck, well played, wow, thanks, good game, oops, and all these emoticons and all that. That you can send, and it shows, oh, oh no, 
They just took one of our towers. Oh, 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 nuts. Oh, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Boom. All right, so you see how that... See, there was overtime because they had one of our towers taken and they we had one of theirs taken. Um, so when... In overtime, when you take somebody else's tower, the game ends. Um, so we won, me and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I got what is a golden chest and 18 coins. So coins in this game are used to upgrade troops, which are these things. Um, I'm, I've been playing this game for a long time, so I'm really high in the game ranks. And I have I have a lot of troops, <laughs> as you can pretty much see. I don't have all of them, so cards to be found. Those ones I don't have. Um, let's see. So, like... If you look at this deck right here, this is an all legendary, almost all legendary. So you see if I click on, say, the Lava Hound, it says Rarity Legendary. Uh, there are, so if I have it sorted by Rarity, this, this is an Ice Spirit, it's a common card. So Rarity Common, and then there's, there's Rare Cards, crap, <laughs> oh my gosh. There's Rare Cards, there's Epic Cards, and then there's Legendary Cards. Um, and there are, I believe, there's 75 cards in total in the game that you can you know, unlock. So I said that I was going to do some 2v2s, some 1v1s, and some deck strategy. So what I'm going to do right now is some deck strategy. So this is a this is a deck that I don't use at all, because you have, um, to start off you have three battle decks that you can have, but once you hit level, like the XP level 8, you see that thing that says king level? I'm level 10 because I upgrade my troops a lot and I donate to my clan, um, which is right there. You're welcome to join it if you want. We got 23... I mean, 13 spots available. So, um, so you get you get three decks to start with, but you can get you get two more after you hit level 10. So this is a deck that I don't really use. Uh, there are some decks that are not very convenient to use, I guess, or good. And there are some decks that are that just demolish usually. Um, one that really demolish demolishes is what people call a lava loon deck. Meaning, they use this card, the Lava Hound, which has 3,000 health, which is a lot in this game. And then they, oh crap. <laughs> they use a card that is the, the Balloon. Now this, you see it's 12, and you only have a maximum of 10, so it's kind of expensive. Um, but if you have other cheaper cards, also if you don't have, like say you're in Arena, like doesn't matter what Arena you're in, say you have, excuse me, say you have the Balloon, but you don't have the Lava Hound, you can use, you can substitute that for the Giant, which is cheaper, and has 40 more hit points, when you're a hi high enough level, when you have a high enough level of Giant, I don't even have tournament level Giant, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. So you, what you want to do, well, let's make a Giant Loon deck right now, so what would you want to do, is you want to take the Giant here, and you're going to click Use, uh, and all these cards will kind of start wiggling, like if you have like an iPhone, if you want to move apps around, you tap and hold, and they start wiggling. That's what that reminds me of. So you're going to tap, take the giant, tap it in the first spot. Um, what you wanna, you're going to want to do is you definitely want to have some defense cards. So something like the arrows uh, are very good to use because they do a lot of damage in a large radius. So you're going to click use. Uh, for me, I have the log, which does the same thing as the arrows, but instead of going through the air, they go on the ground. So they, they only do ground targets. There are some, some troops that do fly. Which is pretty cool. So you want to take the arrows and you want to put it maybe in your that one right there, in your fifth one. And then you want you definitely want the balloon. Otherwise, this isn't a, a giant loon or a lava loon. So you click that balloon and you put it in the second one there. Um, this is really expensive. This is a 5.1 average elixir cost, which makes it really expensive. Um, you maybe want some cards that are good for both attack and defense, um, which what I use for that, for attack and defense, are either the minions or the minion horde. So the minions are just three, three, <laughs> and the minion horde is five, which are happen to be the same elixir cost now that I see that. Uh, so this is getting to be really expensive. So I'll probably put the minion horde in there instead of the sparky, which you probably won't have because it's a legendary card. So we're going for a lava loon de or a pet, or a a giant loon deck with no legendaries. Uh, so you want the minion horde in there. So these, f these, if you you will probably get the skeleton army s fairly early in your your clashing career, 
because you get that all the way in the training camp, which is like basically the first arena. If you you get you get one chest that gives you a free epic basically, and it's one of these four: either the witch, the skeleton army, the baby dragon, or the prince. And then there are all these other cards you can unlock, and then you unlock more depending on what arena you're in. And the first I remember when I got my first legendary, I was in I was in math class. We had just finished a test, and I it was really funny because I just opened. Um, one of one a chest of some sort and it gave me like I think the lava hound and I about burst out of my seat and I was so excited but I was like I had to be quiet I was like <clears throat> it was funny you should have seen me but yeah so you see okay so we need to finish this deck first of all I kind of went on a little tangent there so these right here these five this 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 and this you you can pretty much use if you don't have those cards there are some that you can substitute, and if you if you say you don't have those cards, you go ahead and leave a comment, and I will I'll come up with some other ones <laughs> for you. Um, something you might want to consider, you definitely want to consider upgrading your cards. Now I have a lot of cards that do have upgrades available, but I do not have enough gold up in the corner there, or up in the top there. So if you have if you have the like if you have the cards for it, um. This might, this would be really expensive. You probably, you want to have, you want to definitely have some air troops. So you might want to put a, put in a baby dragon in there somewhere. Um, depending on what you have. If you have an inferno dragon, I'd put the inferno dragon in because you already have the, um, the minion horde for splash damage. Um, let's see. If you want to stop something like an inferno tower... Actually, you might want to put in an Inferno Tower. So an Inferno Tower is this thing right here. Uh, and it is a building that is a defense. And it has an upgrade available too, which I can't do because I don't have enough and I'm trying to save up. So you want to take that Inferno Tower and just put it in there somewhere. And you see how it went way down? Because it adds all these numbers together and then makes an average. Which is good, so the lower the average, the easier it is to place more than one card at the same time. So this would be a perfect deck to use, except we're trying to make it so there's no legendaries for people, say, like, beginning with most of these cards. Um, so you want to get rid of that Electro Wizard there. Um, let's put... Hmm. Uh, this is kind of expensive. So we're going to put in an Elixir Collector right there. And what that does is you get Elixir at a certain rate during the game, and then when there's a minute left, you get double that speed. Uh, and this card, what it does is, it, every few, every 8.8.5 seconds, it gives you one extra elixir to spend. So, we've got that deck right there. So, we're going to go ahead and try that in a 2v2 battle, because I don't want to lose, and this is a no legendary deck, and I'm really high up where lots of people have legendaries. Like this guy here, if you see, if I tap right here, you see he's got the Sparky in there, in that hand. So I'm going to say good luck, because it's just the nice thing to do. So I'm going to take this. First of all, if you have the Elixir Collector, you're going to want to put it in the back here. So I'm trying to just do strategies for this game. Um, if you're completely lost, <laughs> feel free to leave a comment, or I guess a question, to, you know, so that I can help you out. So, uh, he's angry for some reason. So you see how that little one showed up there? That gave me an extra thing. So I'm gonna basically try out this, this deck here. Alright, so he just, what he just placed is a princess. Uh, that is a, f that's a legendary card, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Right, okay, so that... That, that looks pretty good, I think, in my opinion. So what he just did is he just put down a rage card. Uh, which is really, really nice for the deck that we're using right here. Uh, our decks pretty much are work perfectly, which is amazing, because this is a good deck to, to know how to use. Oh, boy. Okay, so that right there is a health powerhouse. That is a P.E.K.K.A. and a Lava Hound. And a Lava Hound has 3,000, but only does, like, I don't remember, like 40-something damage. So it doesn't do a lot, but it only targets the tower, which is a problem if you have... But it has such a large amount of health that it's really hard to kill before you put a more powerful troop, a cheaper, more powerful troop behind it. Uh, so he's laughing, so I'm going to laugh back, I guess. I don't know why. Oh, that was a waste of a lightning. 
Okay, so <laughs> this game I'm probably going to finish or pretty soon because we're it's getting late and all that. So, yeah, so, so you see how this is X2 Elixir right there? That's because there's a minute left. So if you look in the top right-hand corner of my phone screen here, you notice that it says there's less than a minute left and there's that little X2 sign up there. So he <laughs> he is just going at it with these cards and it's and that, that tower has just gotten completely destroyed. So I think that these people have pretty much given up. So I'm just going to leave that there. And I'm just going to talk to you guys. So yeah, so you see we just won. <laughs> kind of a good game, you know. So you you, you want to be sportsman. You want to be a good sport in this game. Because it's just a nice thing to do, you know. So let's see here. I think, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, I'm definitely not done with Clash Royale. I would love to make more about this game and more just sp straight up just deck stuff and just straight up gameplay um, without other explanations and all that for like say more experience. This is just kind of like a Clash Royale beginner's guide, I guess. <laughs> also, uh, if you want to add me as a friend, just go to my clan. I am just Tom. I'm number currently I'm number twenty nine. <laughs> Because I'm in a really powerful clan, I guess. So I'm number 25, so you go ahead and just tap me. And then you. I think there's an invite as friend or something somewhere. I think. But you, you're welcome to join the clan. Go ahead. And yeah. So that's it for this video, and I will see you guys later.